Hi everyone, Nicole here with you again. Today I'd like to share with you the scent and warmer of the month and I also have a little haul that I've picked up which includes um, the Mother's Day uh, upcoming bars and our five spring and summer scents and bricks. So first off, I am going to, I've already unboxed everything, I just, I haven't smelled anything and I haven't uh, plugged anything in, but um, first off, I am going to share with you the scent of the month, which is chamomile de uh, petals. Definitely smell the chamomile. Seems kind of light. It's not bad though, I, I actually like it, I was afraid that I wouldn't like it, but and I don't always get the warmer of the month. This is good. I think I'm going to like this. I don't always get the warmer of the month, but as you can see, when Darren and I go on holidays, we always collect conks and shells and um, even rocks for that matter off the, the beaches and stuff that we um, stop at. And this is the warmer of the month for April, which is a little lighthouse. So I'm not sure if I'm going to switch it out the shining light and put this there or if I'm going to take this and bring it to um, the island and leave it at the cottage um, we'll see what happens I think for now it might go up there though I think I'm going to switch it out it's gonna be very nice this is a nice light it's metal and it's um, if you've gotten our past Christmas trees uh, metal Christmas trees with the white, with the, the gold, this here matches it very nicely. But I'm very, very happy with this. And um, I think it is a 20 watt bulb. So looking forward to hooking this up. And um, I've also purchased um, what is it? Cotton metal mini warmer. Um, as I mentioned before in some of my videos, some of the um, smaller holidays, I love Christmas, but some of the smaller holidays I don't go overboard in decorating. Um, I've one Easter warmer, I don't normally put out a whole lot. I just came from making myself a wreath. But this warmer. Is just too darn cute and it's white and it's classic. Look at all the detail in that. Oh god, that's pretty. Very beautiful. I think this will look nice with a, a colored bulb in it to coordinate with any room, any decor. That is just so pretty. I really, really like that. I'm glad I got that. So I have, um, to go with this, I have a little um, I can't remember. It's a Scentsy Warmer, um, where I believe it's just the head. Um, I'll have to dig it out and look it up. I haven't put anything out yet. Um, other than that, I have the Amazing Grace and, um, one of the other White Bisque Warmers from the last video. I, the name is escaping me as well, but, um, which could be either left out year round or, taken out for Easter day for so very very much happy with those two purchases so far um, oh the other collection I have also purchased is the um, Epcot um, Disney's uh, floral bars for um, Disney so first off uh, I purchased two bundles so the first one is Mint Fields. Oh, I don't have the scent notes with me, but I'm definitely getting a spearmint. I think that's going to be a good bar. I really like that one. The next one I have is Heirloom Rose. Hopefully this isn't too much like Simply Rose. A berry rose, very strong, but not, not quite as strong as the Simply Rose. This is pretty. 
It actually reminds me of my very first house that I had purchased and we had roses outside it. It smells exactly like that. Uh, and last for this collection is Soft uh, Plumeria. It's light. Pretty, but light. And all I get is floral. I'm not getting anything else in there, but I am getting the, the floral note in there. I think I like all three of those, so hopefully they perform just as good. Then, um, the two Mother's Day bars that will be coming out. Um, and I purchased two packs. So the first one is Blue Coconut Beach. Definitely get the coconut. This is pretty. Kind of reminds me of suntan lotion or sunscreen. Very, very nice. I like that. And the next one is wild flower cotton. It's definitely floral. This one I'm not too sure about. Hmm. It's okay. Um, I much prefer the other one, but nice. And the rest um, I have here in, um, I think they're all new bars. So I have the raspberry hibiscus tea. I do love the smell of that scent. I think it might be good. I have not warmed any of the new ones yet. Sparkling yellow. This is the first bar I received this one. I did not get it when it came out in the Rainbow Collection. Nice and citrusy. I think that's going to be good. I really do enjoy the, the clean scents, and I, I do really like florals. So I think that would be good. Soak and Raise. I know this one here is not a favorite for many, but I do like the strong florals, especially for my bathroom. My bathroom is hard to scent, so I need something really, really nice and strong. And Lush Gardenia White Tea and Cactus perform really well, so I think this will be another good one for my bathroom. And Lake My Day, I think this will be good for the cottage, right on Lake Sipco. I think it will be perfect. Yes, and and I still it still reminds me of an axe spray. Darren wears axe all the time. He's always spraying it around, and that's exactly what it reminds me of. Then I have mango matcha. And I get a lot of peach. It's like that. I can't wait to warm these, but I'm trying to get through some of my older bars first, so hopefully it won't be too much longer. Mountain Sunset. I remember this as being a very pretty one. Yes. With that little hint of coconut behind it. This is good. Then I have Peace Lily Be With You. This is okay. Seems very light though. Reminds me of a shampoo. We'll see how that goes. Banana leaf and bamboo. Very green. Mm. It's okay, I'm not sure that's my favorite out of all of them, but sugar blossom. I know a lot of people are disappointed this isn't a true bakery, but I do get the sweetness. Hopefully that's a strong performer. It seems fairly light. Vitamin, whoops, excuse me. 
Vitamin Unwind. This is um, another collection that I did not purchase. Um, the only one that I did purchase is Vitamin R for Relax. Um, I put that into my club just to get one bar and I still have not warmed that. Um, so this is my first sniff. Very light. I'm not getting much of a. I'm not getting much of anything, and I don't have scent notes here with me. But hopefully, it'll be good, and obviously, going to be a good uh, bedroom scent. And I have another vitamin in mind. Tropic Nectar. Very fruity. I'm not too big on fruity scents, but this is a nice one. I don't seem to mind that one. Star Apple and Frasia is another one, of course, from the collection I did not smell before. Oh, that's not bad. Mm. I can't wait to get warm in some of these. And of course, another star apple and uh, freesia, and another sparkling yellow. So, um, and then from there, I've ordered myself the five Scentsy Spring and Summer Bricks. And they've been sitting here for quite a few days right in front of me and I have yet to smell them so I'm waiting to dive into these five here. Um, I'm just about due to um, switch out my fall and winter bricks and pull out some of my summer, spring and summer bricks to melt um, for the next few months so these will be going right into that collection. First off I have Beach Daisy. Now I do have a couple of bars of these that came around in one of the Bring Back My Bars um, last year or the year before and I have yet to melt those but I have smelt them so this won't be my first sniff um, but I'll be happy to uh, finally get to melting. And this is just a nice pretty floral to me. This is nice. Um, I did purchase two sets of bricks and I think this might be another one that I may go ahead and get one or two more. Uh, then we have pink apple nectarine. Uh, we liked the ruby nectarine scent of the month that came out so I'm hoping this is very similar. Not as strong. Hmm. Getting more apple, I think, than I am the, the nectarine. But Darren really, really likes the other one. I find it a little bit too overpowering, so I might like this one a little bit more. So that might be another one that I get another couple bars of. Cucumber and cactus water. Now, I'm okay with some green scents, and there's some that just don't sit right with me, so see how this one is. Very green. I get that hint of floral on the bottom and I get a lot of green like cucumber notes on the top but I definitely get floral on the bottom. This is good. So far I like three out of five. And summer berry melon. And I think this one has honeydew, and I do enjoy honeydew scents. Mm. This is nice. I'll definitely be getting more of this one. I think I'll be getting more of all of them by the looks of it. And the last one is Orchard by the Sea.
Hmm. Okay, this reminds me a lot of Atlantic air, right? So, with just a little bit more, a little bit more pizzazz to it. I actually like this one better than Atlantic air on Cold Snap. I wasn't a huge fan of the other, but I like these. Um, I'm very happy that I got two to start myself off. And that is it. That is everything that I purchased so far. Um, I want to thank you for joining me. I do have um, my uh, club of the bi-monthly club to come in still, um, which isn't very big. So I don't know if I'll even bother doing a video on that. Um, I have yet to do one and um, I change them so often. I, I'm not sure what I'm doing there. Um, but the other thing I have yet to do is um, my empties for the month of March. And I have been following Patricia Gates's uh, melting challenge for the month of March. So I think I'm just going to wait now until the end of the month. And I'll do the whole month of what I have been melting and uh, used up with my empties. So I hope to uh, maybe see you in the next videos. And if you've received um, any of the bricks uh, or do you plan on receiving any of the bricks is there any that pique your interest because um, I was a little leery on a couple of them myself but pleasantly on cold sniff I seem to really like them all and I think I'll be getting more of all of them myself so anyway until the end of the month I hope you all have a great week um, March is nearing very quickly to the end of the month and I will be seeing you then. Thanks. Bye-bye.